Good morning, everybody. Today I have to go to the doctor. And I'm in perfect health. You see, I'm uh, going to take my paddy instruction course, open water dive certification in Hawaii. And because of my age, they need a doctor's form. I'm almost done with the e, e training. I got to go through the dive tables and the funny thing is I've already taken this course once pre-pandemic and then the pandemic hit so I had to cancel all my plans and there's a one-year limit on when you can uh, take the course from when you successfully complete the e-learning anyway I filled out this questionnaire from well, it's a diver medical forum. It's a bunch of questions. I answer no to all of those, except the fact that I'm over this particular age limit. And there's all these check boxes and stuff. All no. And it's very difficult to get a doctor's appointment on short notice, but I was able to find some doctor at my health clinic, which will see me this morning. Let's go do that. Yeah. Put her back in the house. Let's go! I actually enjoy going to Kaiser Permanente, my healthcare provider. Their office is a modern office. And on the fourth floor, although I haven't seen it for a year, they have a salt water aquarium. So we're gonna visit that too. Say hello to the little fishies. Hi Nemo! It is an overcast day in Beaverton today. We'll reach a high of about 80 degrees Fahrenheit. The sun will come out in a few hours. It's very pleasant this time of year. Although last week we had a 115 degree heat wave, higher than I've ever experienced anywhere on planet Earth. It was difficult to think in that weather. Needless to say, Carmela and I were very popular during that time as friends and family enjoyed the pool. I always like to look at this little green area see if there's any wildlife. This is uh, Maryville, Sisters of Mary nuns, and this is a um, home care, a health care hospice center. My wife also worked here when she was just starting out as a CNA. And then she became a registered nurse and now works at the hospital. She's working night shifts, so she'll be home while I'm at the medical center. 
expecting breakfast and there'll be none. As you can see, this is a very nice modern building. I've arrived one minute early. I like to run my life on time and under budget. passed my test. He's a very nice doctor, very good, thorough. Asked a lot of good, good questions. He's signing my form. I'm gonna get another vaccine shot for a different kind of vaccine. And then I'm out of here. Yes, I have passed my scuba course, my online scuba course for Paddy. This company. Boop, boop. And uh, so I've taken it twice now because the first time was an aborted attempt to actually take the training over a year ago. And uh, so I bought the book, you know. And so everything that I teach you in the e-learning course is right there in the book. It's a pretty well-written book. Lots of pictures and stuff. Easy to look stuff up in. Anyway, I I passed with 98%. There's all my scores. So now I just need to forward this to the diving company in, on Oahu. And when I show up, I can take their open water course training for three days. And I'll have my PADI certification. If my body holds together long enough to do all that. But another fun thing... That's excellent. Another fun thing. I ordered this dive watch. I saw it reviewed by the Critter Hunter. It's a diver. And it looks pretty good. And it looks like it's small enough that it's, it's, it's not a big hunk or dive computer. And so let's look at it. This is the unboxing. I don't actually know how to use it because, of course, the diving modes that it would have in it, um, the diving modes that it would have in it are, of course, uh, for when you're scuba diving. So let's see what we got in here. It's a nice little dive watch. So that's that's pretty good. That's uh, not too big on the wrist or anything. Um, it's supposed to have an activate on as soon as you hit the water. So, so I don't even have to do anything. Now, of course, with the, the open water scuba course, you're only certified, this is, this is a beginner course, and so you're only certified to 60 feet and for no compression diving, which means that you never have to actually decompress when you're on the way up and make stops, although you always make a safety stop for the last three to five minutes at like 15 feet. So um, I won't have to bother with that. But uh, the other thing it keeps track of is residual nitrogen. So even when you're out of water and in, in between dives and overnight, your body has absorbed nitrogen that it, it, that it has to get rid of through your breathing um, over, the, over hours. And so the dive computer has a model, a physiology, physiological model of, of how that operates in some average number of humans. I would assume. And so it will uh, compute uh, your new dive times and limits for the next dive as you as you proceed throughout your diving schedule. I have an idea. Let's try out the auto on feature and uh, see if the depth gauge works at least.
Well, the uh, field test of the Atmos dive computer showed that the depth gauge works fine. That's about all I can test by jumping into a pool. <laughs> so let's review it um, in the real ocean next. Uh, that'll be the next couple of logs um, as we travel to the islands and uh, stay tuned. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't and you're notified uh, so we can uh, stay in touch. Peace out.